Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Zoe with Teddy Camp. Today it's going to be a Vmix video since Vmix released its 28 beta version. Finally, and I'm personally very interested in the Telestrator function because it gives you the possibility to draw on the screen, which is super beneficial for teachers who are giving online classes or people who are doing presentations over video conferencing and for people who wants to add a bit fun to their personal live streaming. And the cameras I'm using today are two Telecam PDC cameras. One is the Explore SE used as the main camera, and the other one is a Vision Plus 4K. And over there, taking a closer shot to the iPad I'm having here to control the Telestrator. And today I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Telestrator and how to use it under different scenarios. I believe if I can make it, you can make it too. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is to click settings and go to the web controller because the Telestrator is driven by web browsers. Enable it and remember the website address. This is the address you're going to type in your iPad or anything you want to control the Telestrator. Now this is the IP address I typed in mine, exactly the same with this one. And uh, you're going to enter this interface and tap this one. It'll bring you to the Telestrator page. Here you can choose the output you want to draw on. We're going to keep the default output too, and here you can choose the video quality. I'm going to keep it simple today to use the default setting. And here is the username and password for you to, you know, log into that web page. Click OK. Now it's running as a web-based connection and it's been selected as a web service, but still we need to activate the Telestrator as an input. Okay, go to add input, click Telestrator and okay. Now here I've already added the Telestrator and don't forget to turn on the Telestrator as an overlay to the output. Click this uh, layer four and we're gonna do a bit drawing here. <laughs> okay, hello. That's how we do it. And also you can add like squares or circles to highlight some areas and also use the numbers. It's going to automatically, you know, add up to show the sequence or tell your audience what is going to be the next thing to focus. And there's a delete button here. You can delete all the graphics pressing that button. And here we can change the color of the pencil of your drawing and all the graphics into pink. And also we can use a laser pen. This is super helpful when you are trying to, you know, show like a lot of data or statistics on the presentation or show people where to focus. This is a very basic setup. It's very simple, you know, to just draw on a specific output. Go to the settings, go to the web controller and choose your output you want to draw on and choose the video quality. Click OK and then go to the device you have that you want to use as a Telestrator. Enter the IP address and then add the Telestrator as an input. Turn on the Telestrator as an overlay. That's how we do it. But then it came to me, what if I want to do more customized, you know, production or, you know, set up to fit into my application. For example, here I've already added several layers to my presentation to simulate a staff given a presentation over the mobile vendor market statistics. And now my Telestrator switches to this presentation output and it'll live stream what you are doing on your iPad. Highlighting, showing sequence here. For those who only want to focus on their slides when using the Telestrator on their iPad, there are a few more steps we need to do. First, go to setting. The output we chose to draw on is output two, right? Now let's go to the output, go to output two. I don't want it to draw 
on the output anymore. I wanted to draw on the specific chart or slides of my computer. So I'm going to change the output two into input three. That is the chart being shown on the screen or the slides I'm going to share on the screen. Click OK. And by doing so, you will only see the bar charts on the Telestrator on your iPad. And you can see all the data, all the parameters more clearly. And another thing we need to do is to turn off the Telestrator as an overlay. Otherwise, when you add something on the Telestrator, it's going to double unwantedly. And then go to the presentation setting and go to layers and add Telestrator. And don't forget to tick the box. And by default, the Telestrator will cover the whole page. But what we are actually trying to do is to make it overlap with the slides we're showing here. If the Telestrator is not overlapping with the bar chart or the slides you're showing here, what happened is the drawings that you've done on the Telestrator were not accurately shown on the output. Here, I'm drawing a yellow line on the right of the bar, but what, what's shown on the output is on the left. So we have to make sure the Telestrator overlaps with the chart. Let's go to the chart and edit, copy the position data of the bar charts or of your slides, copy it and go to Telestrator and paste it. That's it. Now it's very accurately shown on the output when I'm doing so. Okay, so that's pretty much how we set up the Telestrator under different situations. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also stay tuned for more videos on the Vimix 28 new features. See you in the next one.